Hi friends, my name is Faye and you're watching Mystery Date with a Book. So, you might, you might not remember that I did a Narnia read-along in January, <laughs> January, <laughs> January and February <laughs> and it was wonderful. Quite a few people followed along on Twitter and it was just wonderful. Um, I had never read the whole series in a go. Well, I had never read the last two books at all. So, <laughs> I finally read all seven books in that series and oh my goodness, I can see now why it's so special, why it's a classic. And here we go. We're going to rank the seven Narnia books. Okay, so we're going to start with my least favorite and work our way up all the way to the best, best book in the series. Okay, here we go. Number seven then. I have all my notes here. So here we go. Number seven, The Horse and His Boy. That is the third book in the series. And I didn't like it. I, um, I thought there were too many characters in it that we never see again. We never hear about them again. So too many characters, too many different places. It was so confusing. I didn't know what was going on half the time. Um, I really didn't like it. I didn't see the point of that book at all. Um, it was nice to see the kings and queens of Narnia, you know, the ones that we know being in Narnia and, you know, interacting with other people there from different lands. But that was it, really. Um, I thought it was way too confusing. And moving on to number two. Number two is The Last Battle. That is the last book in the series. And to be honest, I didn't really like the ending. I thought it was kind of a cop-out. I didn't really like it. It, it. it was sad, but unnecessarily sad. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't have to have that ending. I didn't like it. It's just a personal opinion, I know. And I'm trying not to give any spoilers, but I didn't like the ending. If you've read this book, this series actually, you know what I'm talking about. I didn't like it. I didn't like the ending. I didn't know. I didn't like how C.S. Lewis handled the whole thing. Uh, no, I didn't like it. Sorry. But now, anyway, now book number five. We're going back. So seven, six, five. Book number five is The Silver Chair. That is the second to last book. And I liked it. I liked it, but it was my favorite. Um, I liked how we got two different characters into Narnia and we see their adventure and it was very interesting. It was a bit more dark than the others and I kind of liked it. It was really good, but not my favorite, you know. It doesn't have that nostalgic feeling because I've never read it before. Maybe that's why I ranked it so low. I don't know, but it wasn't my favorite. Anyway. Um, next one, number four, is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Now, this is the one where Lucy and Edmund and their cousin, I think it's their cousin, Eustace, they go with Prince Caspian and travel across the seas looking for these lost lords of Narnia. And it's just brilliant, honestly. Every time they land onto a different island, I'm like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen now? Because you never know that each island is so different and it's a proper adventure. You you get to see Eustace in a new light as well. He kind of redeems himself by the end, uh, which is good, you know. You, I think we should give him a chance, you know, because he's such a horrible character. Um, but yeah, I really liked the Voyage of the, of the Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Why can I never say that? Why? Hmm. Yeah. Then we have, in number three, our bronze position, is Prince Caspian. Ah, if you've watched, okay, if, if you've never read this book, but if you've watched the Disney adaptation, it's so good. Now, the book is even better. Um, I really liked it. It sets everything up for Voyage of the Dawn Treader, which is the next book in the series. I like how we get to see Caspian being born as a baby, growing up, uh, his teenage years, his adulthood, his, you know, old years, <laughs> you know, we get to follow him 
through all his life not just in this book obviously but you know in the one two three four books so i really like that character prince caspian is such a good character He's, because you get to know him really well you get to follow him through so many books and he he's a very special character he he believes in the magic system that his uncle who's now ruling the land has kind of discouraged <laughs> in his kingdom in a way uh, but he still believes he wants to get Narnia back to the way it was before uh, with all the talking animals and things that they've lost throughout the years so I think he's such a good character he's such a wonderful wonderful boy so yes Prince Caspian is number three then we have, in second position, this is our silver medal, we have The Magician's Nephew. This is the first book in the whole series and it sets everything up for the whole of Narnia, really, the whole series. Um, we get to see how Narnia was formed. What I love most about that book is the potential for the creation of so many different worlds. Whenever the two children, they go into that in-between world and there are different pools and if they jump into one pool, you go into one world. If you jump into another pool, you go into another world. So many possibilities there. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. There was a, a little bit of an element of danger in there, but not too much. Uh, I really, really did enjoy it. It was brilliant. It was a great first book in a series to, you know, Kind of prepare you for what's coming uh lo lots of foreshadowing as well and I, I really 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 enjoyed it so number two yep that magician's nephew i really liked it and our first position gold medal number one is you guessed it the lion the witch and the wardrobe that's a classic i know it's a cliche to say that's your favorite but it really is my favorite we get to meet Lucy, Edmund, Peter and Susan and I love them so much. I love those four so so much. And we get to see Mr. Tumnus. We get to see the beavers. Oh my goodness, I love those beavers so much. I, I've tried not to give any spoilers. So I know I'm not giving you much if you haven't read it. But it's a wonderful series. It's about this... Narnia is this magical place where animals talk, the trees talk, there are woodland fairies and creatures and it's just a wonderful wonderful place and these four children from our world from London they get to travel to that other dimension I want to say <laughs> and when they get to Narnia they become the four kings and queens of Narnia the two boys the kings and the two girls the queens obviously and it's just such a wonderful story, wonderful story. It was written by C.S. Lewis back in the day, like, I don't know, 1940s, 1930s? I, I honestly don't know, it was back in the day. And um, it's such a wonderful story, it's a children's classic. If you haven't read it yet, you might want to look into that. There are some Disney adaptations, but there's nothing like reading the original story, reading the actual book. So, recommendation there for you. <laughs> So anyway, this is my ranking of the Narnia books. Uh, do you agree with it? Have you read the whole series? What, what did you think of it? Let me know down in the comments. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a like, subscribe, click the bell and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.